Another building in Damascus goes up in smoke, this one a mosque. The pro- and anti-government forces fighting Syria's civil war still appear far from breaking the deadlock, with bombings and door-to-door -door fighting in the dense cities and around them. Two days ago, British Prime Minister David Cameron suggested that the man at the center of it all could be allowed safe passage out if that would guarantee the fighting stopped. Now, Syrian President Bashar al-Assad, in a rare interview with Russian television, has said this is not a civil war and he is determined to stay. The problem is not between me and the people. I don't have problem with the people. Because the United States is against me, the West is against me, many Arab countries, including Turkey, which is not Arab, of course, against me. And if the, people, if the Syrian people are against me, how can I be here? Assad says he's not like other countries' leaders swept away by Arab Spring uprisings. If I'm not puppet. I wasn't, made by, I wasn't made by the West to go to the West or to any other country. Mm -hmm. I'm Syrian. I'm made, uh, uh, I'm made in Syria. And I have to live in Syria and die in Syria. Townspeople in the north, meanwhile, claim that Assad's forces have used cluster bombs there. If confirmed, this would constitute a war crime, as this is an internationally banned weapon. The rebels use homemade hand grenades and other improvised explosive devices. Syria's opposition has pleaded for international backers to equip its forces. But more information has emerged, which suggests that the official forces of Damascus are not the only ones perpetrating atrocities, but also maverick rebel fighters. This is not the only video footage to come out of Syria, awaiting independent verification, showing either unarmed prisoners or others being murdered.